Hi, welcome to the launch of Mass Managed Service Provider Tools, which we are releasing on CN Pilot and CN Maestro product. We are so excited to, to launch this because MSP is one of the fastest growing segment in Wi-Fi. And with this launch, we are not only enabling our existing MSP customers, but we are also providing tools so that some of other customers who are not an MSP and not, not, not taking advantage of the growth and as well as the recurring revenue there could do that. So we have a full agenda today. Uh, we will start with introduction of MSPs. What are the key ROI factors? Then go with some of the features of CN Maestro and CN Pilot, which enables MSP to be more successful. And then take you to some of one of the new product and as well as the new features, which we are going to introduce today. And we'll end with a dialogue between Dave Moore, as well with Drew Lenz, who is an industry expert in Wi-Fi and as well as has experience on being a VAR and and an MSP running Wi-Fi. So with that, <coughs> networking is not easy. And wireless networking is even more difficult because there are a number of different type of devices which join the network, different type of laptops, different phones, different protocols, different authentication mechanism, and as well as every day there is a new source of interference. A a wisps, a wisps coming, starting a new tower, a, <clears throat> a new store coming up, putting a lot of Wi-Fi access points and creating interference. So all this is, is not easy to handle. So when a restaurant owner manages his own Wi-Fi network in three, in, in three of his restaurants or the son of a hotel owner, 18 year old son, he manages the hotel's network. If his state of mind is confused, if the network is confused, it's not a surprise. It's not a surprise. And it is also not a surprise that MSP is a lot in demand. And that's why this is the data from Computer Associates and you will see that MSP with IT consulting and network management is one of the fastest, is, is, is the most in demand business because it is solving a purpose. People need it. And as well as it is most profitable as you can see on the right here. It is most profitable because, because then customers are willing to pay for it. It is adding value to them. So who are these MSPs? All this profitability, all this growth, who is taking the benefit? So let's analyze. Uh, what does MSPs do? They do a lot of things. They do monitoring of the network, they create reports, they, they, they are proactively going and looking at problems in the network, so how to improve. They provide remote support and sometimes service calls. Now this is not easy, lot of different work and lot of different types of work. So you need a large organization, different specializations. You also need a large infrastructure, a lot of web servers, a lot of bandwidth, so that you can bring a lot of data, crank uh, and do the analysis, store a lot of data. So that's why it's a lot of capex and a lot of opex. So it's not a surprise again that the most prevalent successful MSPs are larger businesses. Mobile carriers, larger ISPs, they are the ones who are doing MSP very successfully. And whereas, the smaller businesses, the system integrator, the VAR, who is managing 10 different accounts, who installed a hotel, a restaurant, a, um, a school, a MDU in that community, though he installed it and time to time he does go and help them, he is not getting that recurring revenue. He is not an MSP. Same like the distributors, sometimes they would like to provide stickiness through their business by being an MSP, they cannot do that because they don't have that scale. So our goal today is to give you the tools so that make it a level play field. 
the bigger MSPs, the larger businesses as well as will benefit from it, but as well as the smaller businesses, the system integrators, the VARs, the distributors, they can also become the MSP and, 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 and at the end help the end customer and make profit for themselves. So, how does these, what is the success factor? What does make, what makes an MSP successful? Like any other business, it's return of investment. You want to invest less, create more value and in turn make more money. So, first key factor is affordability. You don't want to spend a lot of gobs of money on the server and capex, so it needs to be affordable. That's what CN Maestro does, affordable cloud solution. Number two, manageability. You want to manage, you will have 10 different accounts. You do not want one engineer assigned to each account. Then you will not get the return of investment. How can, what are the tools we can provide so that you can manage many different accounts simultaneously? You, how can you install quickly? How you can troubleshoot remotely? How you can monitor remotely? How you can create you don't need a department and a separate person creating reports. Will the tool create a reports automatically for you? So those are the manageability factors. And lastly, the scalability. One, as your businesses grow, you gain, you don't want to create another infrastructure. As you, secondly, you also will have different type of businesses. A hotel network is going to be very different than a school network. Can you manage both the networks from the same console? Can you mon monitor them together? And, and those are the factors which will make the MSP successful, right? It will give you a very positive return of investment. So, ladies and gentlemen, today we are introducing an architecture which is brings the manageability, scalability and affordability to a level where the smaller WISPs, a smaller ISP, smaller in SI, a system integrator all of them can take benefit and make a return of investment that positive that they can compete with the larger MSPs. So, before I go to that technology which we are introducing, let me walk you through the evolution because it is riding on that evolution. So, let me take you 15 years back. The network used to be 10 AP and controller. The upper Mac was done in the AP. All the traffic used to get tunneled to a controller and the controller is where the wireless and the wired met. This beautiful complete separation of wireless and wired traffic, but there was one problem. It worked fine until 802.11n came. When 802.11n came, the capacity, the AP's capacity suddenly improved quite a lot. So then this controller started becoming a choke point. So it became very expensive. You have to put gobs of controller to manage it. So, next evolution was locally bridged with controller, where the APs would put the traffic right from the AP, it goes to the wire and not to the controller. Only the traffic which was control packets went to the controller and which was good, it reduces the capacity. We did not need gobs of controller, smaller controller and it could handle higher speeds, but there remained a problem. You still needed a controller at every site. You still, if you are managing a hotel, a restaurant, a school, at all those places you have to place a controller, right? So that was the challenge. So next evolution happened was smart edge APs. So cluster of APs became start, worked together and started acting like a controller. What does controller did? They do is fast roaming, dynamic channel assignments, which AP will get what channel, authentication you know those aspects and the APs could do it which is beautiful you did not need a controller. But now imagine this you have one smart group of APs in one location another smart group of APs at second location third smart group of APs at third location how do you manage all these separate groups of APs. So that problem remained so distributed network which is what MSPs are managing that is where it did not work. So then came cloud managed AP. In the last 3-4 years, I would say it has become very prevalent today, where there is a cloud which is managing all these distributed networks of APs, which is good. Cloud is also doing the function 
of the controller. The one problem, if your WAN link goes down, your APs are pretty much non-functional. They cannot authenticate, they cannot uh, do fast roaming, they cannot do dynamic channel assignments. So this is where Cambium came and we invented what is called cloud managed smart edge, riding on that evolution and taking it to the next step. It is easy to manage, distributed networks ideal for an MSP and resilient to controller connection. When the cloud connection goes away, the APs are smart enough, the network will keep, be fun keep, will keep functioning. When, 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 the, when you get the WAN connection back, you have the, the management cap capabilities there. So this has brought the manageability, scalability and affordability to a level where MSPs of any size can take benefit and get into and, and start making that recurring revenue and providing the help to the end customer. So with that, let me uh, invite Chetan Hibale. Chetan is our senior product manager for, for CN Pilot, CN Maestro product line and he will take a, you through the features which are getting added and which are existing which is helping the MSPs uh, of the world.